Well, we found some cute, lovely bunnies here in the Tenjin Golden Metropolitan Polo Club here. Well, they're looking nice and cozy, aren't they? Big woolly hats on. It is cold here. It's not the coldest of the days we've had so far. It's, uh, it's pleasant that we don't have much wind today because uh, it gets very, very miserable when, the, when that wind does kick up. So how do you see uh, it turns out in the first chucker? I'd, I'd say that the USA have, uh, are, are stronger. They've been in possession more and they're holding on to it. France are a little bit scrappy. It's not to say they're not, they're not putting a good effort in here, but uh, they're not really executing the way they have been. Um, I'd say that the USA are definitely looking a bit sharper today. That being said, they know that there's everything still to play for in the next Chuck's Who Chuckers, so uh, they're probably going to come out very strong and give the USA a bit of a, a, bit of a pushing here. So Micah Saro getting ready for the second Chucker. So we'll start this Chucker with a knock-in because it went out just two seconds before it did in the previous Chucker. But we see that the horses have changed, the teams have changed then now after each Chucker. Rigal now for France, taking it off the back line. He's got all the time in the world here. Looks up, opens his shoulders. No, decides to have a tap at it. Azaro putting pressure on him, putting the whip on the horse. Oh, we've got a big whistle here. So, penalty for France. Half hit, absolutely shanks it off to the right there. That's unfortunate for him. Just a missing opportunity there. having a good run at goal here. Oh, it's good. Good France. Good goal for France there. Clement de Foster just slotting it through on a quick run, at, a quick approach to goal. Not quite sure what happened to the USA defence, but they've managed to penetrate it quite easily. Very patient there. Almost missed the chance with great angle You just shot. see Del Walton in pursuit there, but he's absolutely too slow to get in to do anything there. Right, okay, here we go. USA having, a, Mike Azara having a swing of the ball there, but just coming over the top of it. Pillol turning it nicely. Pillol having a good run at goal himself. Just checks up, tries to play on the inside, runs over the top of it. Now Pommy Biddle in possession. Biddle with a big hit, catches the wind and sends it a bit out right towards the boards. Regal for France approaching very quickly on the ball here, goes to the near side back, opens it up very, very nicely. Unfortunately for him, Mike Azaro is there to pick it up. DeFoss for the near side back, doesn't get a hold of it. Azaro, look at these ball skills, what a fantastic holding on to it. Gone from the offside to the near side just effortlessly. And the ball is out to play. So we have a line up here on the boards. 2-1 to France at the moment. Three minutes left in the second chucker. Delma Walton. Walton runs it. It's going to go over the back line. Ball just pops out. Hit in now for France. Regal with a big hit. Tommy Biddle spots that one, goes right. I'm in pursuit. Here we go. Palol, he's having a good effort at this one. He's not going to beat Biddle to the ball, though. Biddle puts it out towards the, uh, the boards. Nicely picked up there by Mike Azaro. Palol picking the ball out of the air. Has a hit a goal. Very nicely done. Palol here. Palol for France on approach. 
There's another goal for France. That brings up to 3-1 for France. You can just hear the American players are not happy with what's going on with their own defence here. As you see, Pilol pops the ball up in the air. His horse has definitely got a lot more pomp on it than, uh, than Mike Azaro's because he's just absolutely left him in the dust or the snow. Azaro and Walton here. Walton having a good push with Rigal. Biddle and Pelol. Open backhand there from Biddle for USA. Mike Azaro saying, I'm going to pick the line up. Rigal. And the foul's been called. Looks like against Rigal for France. So it looks like it's going to be a, uh, a penalty for the USA, if I'm not mistaken. While we're waiting for the penalty awarded to USA, quick change of course for Michael Zaro there. Yeah, he knows there's uh, they're, t they're two goals behind, and he's going to want the freshest horsepower underneath him he can get to uh, try and even the score up in this chucker. Okay. Tommy Biddle to hit the penalty here for the USA. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for uh, another shot at goal here because he's very accurate and he can hit he can hit some very hard balls. There we go. It's gone straight along. With, you know, hasn't got much elevation. It's come off the pony of Clement DeFoss. Mike Azaro with a backhand of his own. Pops it out. Oh, it runs out wide. That's unfortunate for USA. for France now having a good a good run again goes to the near side backhand shot at goal very very nicely called off by Pelot there Pelot with the near side back puts it straight into uh, Regal but uh, I think Ben Turner or Steve Evans blown his whistle and said no that's a foul Okay, big ball upfield now. Pops just in front of Mike Azaro. Holds on to it. Slows the play down. Looks up, looks for an opening. Pops it out right. Clement DeVos putting a lot of pressure on him here. Mike's going to want to move him out of the way here. Maybe go for the backhand, put it forward for uh, for Delma Walton, who picks it up quite nicely. But we're going to see Rigal here take the ball. Walton trying to take him out of play. Pelol and Biddle coming in against the boards here. Rigal for France on the near side along the boards. Pops it out. Azaro clears with a backhand of his own. DeVos puts it back into play for France. That's the 30-yard buzzer for the uh, 30, sec 30 seconds left in Chucker 2. Still 3-1 to France, and we've got a whistle there just in the last 30 seconds of the Chucker. So the ball's come out the air, dropped down, a couple of players, a few sticks have gone up there. Looks like France are appealing for the flower against number one player for USA, Delma Walton. So they're not going to give a foul, they're going to give a lineup. So here we go, balls gets popped out the air. Mike Azaro on it. Mike Azaro, he's going to have a good run at goal here. DeFoss with a near side. Oh, look at these two ponies run here, they're at full speed. Pillow's pony playing up a little bit there. Tommy Biddle with a backhand opening it up. No one there to pick it up for him. Mike Azaro coming in from the back of the goal with a near side back. 
Oh, and there's the buzzer for the end of the second chucker. Interesting little bit of play there, but uh, didn't quite work in the favor of USA, unfortunately. That would be an excellent shot if Asaro actually make it. That, that, it had that been a goal, that would have been the goal of the tournament so far, Con. Oh, definitely.